Hi. So this video is not intended for you know like entertainment purposes, nothing like that. It's mostly about my life just to share what random people go through like on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know if um, the ventilation is gonna is gonna interrupt or distract you if the sound is gonna be okay but I'll try to because I feel comfortable here. Um, I just wanted to say like the only thing I pray for at the moment at the moment just you know like I remember for two three years already just to have 100% health you know like it's not something I dream about you know like having a good YouTube channel the things work out just you know like be kind of more relaxed in my life because I've been um, controlling i've been you know like kind of in adult mode since i was teenager and it doesn't make my life easier uh, now when i'm already you know like an adult i'm 20 years old i work now i'm jobless um and i just wanted to share um i have migraines it hurts at the moment. I cannot get rid of this pain already for a day. I took, you know, like two pills, like painkillers for migraines and it doesn't work. It doesn't like nothing helps uh, when you have migraines. It's just like you need to wait, but you can wait either for a couple of hours or you can wait for a couple of days and or even more and, and it cannot stop it's not like the average um, headache which I also do have um, and it's hard to have to live with a condition I not only have migraines in my life um, I have gallbladder issue which I was born with my boyfriend interrupted me because <laughs> I'm literally sitting in the bathroom at the moment I don't have a plan for this video just wanted to speak out about my current life just you know like to share to anyone just watching this and maybe you have the same issues as I do you can kind of support me we can talk it out so like I try to take care of my health for lots of years lots of years since i was a teenager i have migraines since um, i was 13 years old and it sucks just to tell you i have it seven for seven years and uh with every coming year it's kind of it gets its strength so nowadays i get like 25 attacks like migraine attacks per month so basically i don't have days when i don't have you know like migraine or headache when i don't have migraine i have headache and i have hard times with my life because the only thing i wish for is to have like you know like good health to pursue my life dreams my life goals to you know like do anything i'm jobless at the moment and when i was working um having just you know like a bit of stress would make my head burst and i'll get you know a headache or migraine and i couldn't work so it's it kind of messes with my uh, job and i'm not productive anymore when you have migraine you're not productive at all because you cannot control yourself you just want to you know like sit like this and um it, it's getting worse so sometimes it, i start thinking about you know like i just want to knock out myself just to not feel you know like this pain just to have time to not think about anything just relax but i cannot do this because like it doesn't matter if i stress or i have zero stress it just you know like does it uh i tried like any medications basically you can help yourself 
except you can have like incisions with botox into the muscle and I still like you know like haven't considered that because it's kind of a big deal for me doing that uh, and it's kind of pricey so the only thing I can do is painkiller for um, that nerve like, like any painkiller doesn't work it's just specific because the only tripton thing that you know like the only tripton pills they help sometimes they help when the pain is already like going uh, it, it will not help because I took two pills today it didn't help at all I'm so struggling uh, I don't know talking keeps me going for now so it messes with my life you know, like as a person, kind of, you know, like as a 20 year old person who's trying to achieve something in life, having something like that, that messes with it, it's kind of hard. Because I'm 20 years old, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna turn 21, like in just two months. And it makes my life hard. I know that a lot of people that have it harder, that on wheelchairs, that have it, you know, like worse, but still, I appreciate what I have like in my life, how it is, but having something like this serious, kind of see where it's not like you know, like I have cancer, like nothing, and MRI says like shows nothing. Uh, doctors say like I have like zero issues, it, like everything is okay on a physical level. Like one, one day, you know, like do some you know, like screams, anything, I just didn't, don't know uh, all those terms in English, doesn't matter. So when I, when I go through checkups, everything is okay. But when it comes to feeling, it's hard, it's bad, it's getting worse year by year. Uh, I have like a lot of attacks uh, in a month and it messes up with my job, with my, with my work basically. So like uh, sometimes I can, sometimes I cannot work at all and i'm not productive in my life so if i want to you know like create youtube uh, to achieve something i need to be consistent i need to be you know like disciplined i need to have energy to do stuff but if i have headaches i have migraine almost you know like 25 days per month how can i achieve anything like i'm not trying to be pity but to be honest it's it's kind of hard like i'm not trying to be you know like show off as a miserable no i'm just trying to talk and you know, like maybe have kind of some support because it's hard and also uh i was born with gallbladder being crooked like not the gallbladder itself but the sphincter um that pushes gallbladder to to the next organ <sighs> and I have issues with that and I wasn't dealing I was dealing with the issues with gallbladder when I was a child and then we kind of leveled it up and it was okay for lots of years uh, I was eating you know like stuff I was kind of dieting when I was a teenager because I knew that I had that issue I was trying to be softer in myself you know like to eat mild foods you know lots of fruits and veggies I was cutting on meat and stuff because it was hard to digest uh, my dad was always um, arguing with me about that but he wasn't really thinking about my health he was just thinking about norms that a child should eat meat I eat it nowadays but it's hard it's hard to digest it's you know like when I started eating it it was okay for a year and then my condition started to worse month by month and started to get worse month by month and it got to the point when i started vomiting every day not because i was making it myself no it's not because of that it's because uh this gallbladder juice like let me tell it in 
<laughs> kind of in my language because I, I don't know medical terms in English, so I'm not prepared. So this gallbladder, I, it, uh, it kind of pushes this not only like juice, but the liquid that helps to digest all the fats, all the protein that uh, gets into your that gets into you know like digestive digestive system, and it was kind of pushing to the wrong way, so it was getting to. So it's a whole other story about the, how it works and why I have this issue, the, like this vomiting issue, but I wasn't making it like almost in, you know, like in terms of time, just in half an hour or an hour, I get this, you know, like vomiting, uh, vomiting feeling when I get sick and the food just comes out of me. Uh, I can just, you know, like write uh, a paragraph what was, why was it happening and why I still can get this condition. But it's kind of like the gallbladder, you know, like produces the liquid that helps to digest the fats, um, protein and stuff. And it was pushing to the wrong way. So like it's not to the right organ. So the gallbladder was pushing that liquid to my stomach and it was getting there because of this because the sphincter was open and it wasn't pushing to the duodenum, right? And that's why because of this kind of concentrated liquid in my stomach, it was making it you know like it was making me sick and that's why i was uh, vomiting so it's high condition bug why it was happening um but i took uh, i got prescription i got checked out and got prescription for taking pills for a month and already you know like finished a couple of days ago i kind of feel better i was doing mass i was doing uh couple other massages i was doing like uh, everything right with my diet and it's kind of you know like leveling, leveling up it's kind of okay now but it can get bad at any time I cannot um, predict it it's, it can get bad any time I cannot predict it so like living with all that you know like getting sick having headache um, it's just hard. It's just hard. It's just hard to work. It's just hard to do anything. Hard to do anything. And I just, I'm just here to, you know, like. I also, also, if you're gonna tell me something about, you know, like working with my mental health, because it can be issues like go that go from there. I know. I am resolving this conflicts. I'm working. I work with a therapist. I kind of checked out this and I'm well aware of uh, issues that I may have and I worked with it and I'm still uh, working on that you know like doing YouTube is kind of the work that uh, helps me with the therapy <sighs> that may help me with my gallbladder but I'm just here to tell that a lot of people that are fighting a lot of, you know, like issues with health and they still like they battle every day and they go through like everyday tasks, they work, they, you know, like raise children, they, you know, like do stuff, I don't know, talk to friends, like go, go walk your dog, like do basically all the needs that you need to do every day I'm proud of you all I'm proud of myself that I still like live <laughs> that I still not commuting anything I'm not going to but it's kind of hard to live like that and I appreciate everyone who does it who have like any conditions who may have it worse than me but I'm just here to tell you that you're doing great I'm doing great also and I just want to 
say that we have that for some reason we have that to learn something about ourselves about our uh, habits about our thoughts to heal I know I know that I still I'm still not here I'm not I'm still not healed that's why I have all these migraines maybe I'll have that for the rest of my life I need to learn how to cope with it and I'm just here to tell you that we can go through it we can fight we can understand why everything is happening maybe not now maybe now is not the right timing maybe you just you know like in the process of finding out the truth about your body why you have like some ter some type of condition just thank you that you keep going i'm just i was just looking for people that may have something like me that we can share i don't know tips how to help each other because i do everything i was doing everything i could find on the internet that doctors could tell me nothing helps i still struggle with every day you know like headaches and migraines and I don't know, I just want to get rid of this, like sometimes I cry, just I, you know, like I get into this, you know, like mental fight of living life like this, is it like, why? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? And I, you know, like sometimes I literally keep crying, you know, like in my bed, thinking about how can I heal, how can I remove this pain? out of my life still cannot find out so thank you if you watch this video let me know in the comments if you have like anything if you battling with something on a daily basis if you have some sort of condition maybe it's mental condition let me know in the comments if you have something like this if you have like any physical mental condition and if you fight with it every day how you cope with it how you work how you go through stuff how you you know like get your life together because i cannot i was doing it for a long time but like i'm unemployed now i cannot do anything about youtube literally like i at it when i have you know like i'm when i'm at the right state of my health and it's not a lot of time so i'm not productive in my life like i cannot achieve anything basically i just sometimes I just go and need stuff uh, as a coping mechanism <sighs> because i cannot live my life to the fullest maybe i need just you know like kind of accept what if i'll have it to the rest of my life and trying to think of that perspective what i can do maybe it'll help thank you for watching i'm hoping that you'll leave a comment if you watch this video just looking for support for some people that maybe have similar and and no uh, just for people <laughs>